We're going to take a look at the particulate matter sensor. That's a new sensor that showed up around 2018. There's only one on the unit. It screws into the outlet flange of the SCR element, which is the same flange that the outlet knock sensor probe screws into. Uh, the particulate matter sensor's job is to pick up particles of soot that make it through the after treatment system. And uh, no particles are supposed to make it through there in the perfect world. And so what can happen is your DPF can crack for some reason. Uh, sometimes they start leaking between the element and the side of the can. And I think that's why you can only uh, get a new particulate, diesel particulate filter uh, in California. That's all you're allowed to install now. And it may go that way over other states too. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, I think they do that because there's, on a brand new one, there's the least amount of leakage you're going to have. So anyway, the particulate matter sensor is in the stream of air. And if a s particle of soot goes into it, it detects that. And it will collect those particles. And there's a uh, allowed amount of particles that you can collect in there before it logs a fault. Now, the sensor itself does have the ability to regen itself. So it has a heating element inside and it can heat itself to the place where it will vaporize that soot. Because remember, way back when we started this, we said soot, when it's burned, turns into a gas. Uh, there's no residue left because it's just unburned uh, fuel. So that sensor will do a regen and clean itself. There's even a test in Insight that says uh, regen after treatment particle sensor. And if you go to run that test, if there's nothing in there, it'll just say, don't need to run the test. There's no reason to. And that test takes about, if I remember, 20 minutes, maybe, maybe 10, 10 to 20 minutes. It's not like the hour long test. But that sensor, again, cleans itself. And so the premise of its operation is if you're driving X many hours and you only have X amount of soot in there and it's acceptable, there's no problem. Uh, it does allow, the system does allow for a small amount of soot to be escaping because, again, we don't live in a perfect world, right? But if something goes wrong and you've got enough soot to turn your stack black, that sensor is going to be derating you and you can't take it out of the stream because it's got to be in the heat and it's got to sense some particle because in, in the perfect world, which we don't live, there'd be absolutely zero. So there's always some. So that's what its job is. That's what it does. And it's just a safety check to make sure that the, the downstream emission system is doing its job. Okay, let's take a look at what the sensor looks like. You're going to notice it's very, very close to a knock sensor. Um, almost hard to tell the difference, uh, but you can visually. So I believe these are uh, 12 and 24 volt, different part numbers too, and maybe some lead lengths like the knock sensors. But other than that, I think if you're the right voltage, it'll work. Okay, here we go. So in the system, this is what it looks like. Uh, we're looking at the outlet pipe of the SCR here. And if you could see to the right, that would be where it goes up to the stack. So the dock sensor and the particulate matter sensor are very close in proximity. Again, they're always in the outlet of the SCR or the outlet housing. This is the, the back side of it. Uh, you can see the edge of the sensor there in the bottom right. That plug is potted with the wires. You cannot unplug it out of the module. If this fails, they're going to want the whole thing back if you want any core value. And the after treatment number is on the back there. And uh, I don't think the part number is, though. And there we have the plug. You can see there's four pins in it. Again, it's data plus, data minus, ground, 
and power feed. So here's a take here's a look down in the end of the sensor. Nothing special in there. It's got a heating element to clean itself. And that's about it. We haven't had really any problem with these at all. I don't think we've had any fail. You're going to find them on a 2018 and newer stuff. Older than that, you probably won't see this sensor. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on Neural Splendor.